Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, we are going to discuss a bit more about JavaScript object and understand can we have methods within the JavaScript objects as well. So absolutely yes, within JavaScript objects like we have these name value pairs, we can also have the methods. So the the function you can say basically it performs a particular set of tasks you can have that as well as an entity within the javascript object for example if i let me remove this okay so it's a little there is a little bit of space there okay so now i can have a so i had a student name student age year etc right so say for example i want to write a logic or a function of basically a method uh, that does something or th that that pops up a certain message or do, does some calculation could be anything right so any programming code that can be written within this object and that can be accessed okay so say for example i want to access this uh, or welcome this student with a student name okay so for example i can write a function okay so to define a function obviously the simple logic or simple structure to define a function is the function name all right basically I can say something similar right with the comma colon separated so because it, it's an object so I can say welcome okay so for example welcome followed by the colon and then we need to say function okay because this is a function right and then we use the parenthesis okay so the standard structure of the function and within these parenthesis uh, within these co uh, curly braces basically we can define whatever we want to print so for example i want to print something okay or i want to do some calculation so i can use the logic but as of now just to explain i'll simply say console.log okay and then i will simply say welcome okay welcome to say for example welcome to rcb academy okay let's keep it simple all right so there can be multiple lines here any number any level of complexity that can be there so now this is a function right this is this is within this particular object now how can i access it right so how can i access it so same as as usual right so let me remove all of these or i'll comment it and move it so here now because this is a function okay so same way that we used to access the other properties of this object okay for example student with the dot notation right or the bracket notation notation we can also access the method okay so for example i can say student right that's an object and then dot and then you will see that i have a welcome okay so there is a welcome property shown as well okay so i can simply access this welcome okay now say for example i just do this all right and then try to execute it let's see let me open the console and send this so nothing happened right why because we haven't specified the for the function you have to specify the parenthesis right so we have to say student dot welcome okay then it will be called so if i send this now you will see welcome to rcv academy will be printed here okay so if you just say dot welcome you have to make basically if it is a method a function within an object you have to make sure that it is followed by the parenthesis okay now if i want to say welcome to rcv academy and then the name of the student right so say for example one more important concept i want to explain here so welcome to rcv academy and then i want to print the person's name who or the student name whom we want to welcome okay so you just say student name right here or basically in order to access student name ideally it will be something like student dot student name right that's with the dot notation you used to access right the property of this object so student dot student name okay so now if i print this or if i send this particular request and then see you will see welcome to rcv academy and the name of the person okay but what is the problem here so basically say for example here the problem is say we we change this to student one okay this constant to student one then basically we have to go back and change everything here like student one okay and if there is a reference anywhere in this particular function for this constant we have to go ahead and change right so the better approach is using the this keyword okay so when we say this okay so in other programming languages as well uh, this is used okay now when we say this keyword this keyword you can say it is the reference of the current object wherever it is called from wherever it is called say for example this is the student when we say this dot student name it will reference the current you know student if you change it to student one it will reference that right so this dot whatever property you want to call 
make sure you use the this keyword so this dot student name will then make sure that your code uh, works exactly same way if, if say for example this changes to student one you don't have to change anything within your object definition there okay you just have to change when you are calling it right so here uh, if i say student one dot welcome it will go ahead and it will still work the same way okay you'll see that welcome to rcv academy john it works exactly the same way as we had you know with the dot notation when we said student dot student name or student one dot student name okay so the better approach is to use the this keyword which will reference the same object from where it is basically called okay so this is briefly about uh, a bit more about the javascript objects and then can you have the functions or methods basically within the javascript objects absolutely yes and you can define the function same way uh, with the key value pair basically this is the key and you can say this is the whole value and based on the key you call that function and the function whatever logic is written within that particular function will get executed if you'll call the function in your other code there okay why we are learning all these concepts because we will be using them in some scenarios when we are doing api testing so we need to understand the concepts that yes when we define javascript objects we can also have the function within the object okay or uh, to be more precise basically the method within the objects as well okay so that's all for this video i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching